Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? How's it going? We're going to be doing traditional, one of the traditional blocks. Um, it can be known as a uh, strike. I uh, strike now. Basically it's a low block. Basically it's for blocking the groin, the midsection, if you see a kick. You see like a kick or a knee, you know, you have time to block it with the hammer block. And, you know, for uppercuts, it could be a half hammer block um, for knee, for knee strikes. Um, downward block is for groin. Basically, if it's your groin, do traditional. If you're wanting to do traditional, you stand in the forward stance. You know, if you want to do like traditional karate, you stand in the forward stance. Basically, on how you do the forward stance while doing the uh, uh, low line block, it's like you make a C, but it's shorter width walking distance apart. Kind of like you're taking a, a big step forward. And both feet are facing are facing forward, and then once you do it, you chamber it up. You have one like you're talking on the phone on the other side. Have your other hand closed underneath the armpit. Like you're giving your kind of like give your other hand like you're trying to hug yourself, and then you execute the block and you go down and over your knee. You don't want to go past the knee. It's just right over the knee area. That's where you stop. And you make sure this hand is on the hip nice and tight. And, and your shoulder squared. Not jarred. Or like Not crooked. More squared when doing it. Um, that's how you do the low line blocking. What it's for is for like low like low line attacks. You could help prevent from people hitting you in the groin. Um, even if you're doing boxing or you're going up against a Muay Thai fighter, you could kind of like do like a half half downward block for the uppercuts. You get to do the double hammer blocks for the knee for the knee strikes. Um, but really technically I call it the hammer hammer block strike I don't really call it a low block I call it the hammer the hammer block because that's what it kind of reminds you of like you're hammering but you're not I'm going to do it 10 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 Sake, Stein, Sand, and then the other side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then you can add it with a punch if you want to. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, other side, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten. Then you can do like one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. You can do it in a drill motion. You know, if you want to do a traditional way of training, that's how they did it back in old school karate. They would go up and down on the floor for a whole hour just doing one technique at a time. And um, even in the studios now, they, I don't know how they do it now in studios, but um, usually they try it. And when I remember when I went to the studio, they did a lot of techniques in four to five minutes to just try and master it in one technique. And, but I remember some of my old coaches, they told me back in the old day stories on how, how it used to be where they would always train on one technique for a whole hour until they got better with it, until they moved on to the next technique. And which, you know, as Bruce Lee would say, you know, you can practice a technique uh, 5,000 times, but a man who practices a kick ten, or a technique 10,000 times is the man that he would fear the most. So, basically he's right, you know, if you practice one technique, you know, a thousand times, and then until you get better on it, until you move on to the next one, then, then you've already mastered that technique. So, you know, it's just on how you put the time in, put the time in, practice each technique you think of. Um, basically, all this is just, basically, Low line, low line, just basically protecting the low line area and, and combat fighting, especially if somebody's trying to do a kick on you um, to the groin, um, that'd be another thing, um, or even to your legs, you know, if you can we'll do a low line block down, like lean down further to, to block kicks to the legs if you have to, just to be able to you can do it open hand. But you gotta be careful with the open hand. Because the open hand blocks, you can break your fingers when doing it. When somebody's trying to. When somebody's trying to do low like kicks on you, because you can jam your fingers. And everything else when somebody's doing they're trying to do it open hand so it's best to keep them close like you're trying to make a fist to punch somebody like or if you're trying to make a fist to you know to help protect yourself back i would just block with the fit with the fist closed instead of open because you can do it open but as like i said you're more Obble to jam your fingers or get your finger broken when your hands are open when blocking. So, there you have it, folks. I'm stepping down for Please hit the like, subscribe, and, get, and hit that bell notification. You'll get every one of my videos. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.